Canadian Real Estate versus Literal European Castles, Part 6. The Affordable Edition. You asked for it, I didn't think it would be as funny, but we're going to try it anyway. I found today's property with the help of viewer Sarah, who has a TikTok account managed by her cat Waffles. She also makes these cute crocheted animals. I like the alpaca. This is 83 Olivier Street, a three-bed, one-bath in Dieppe, New Brunswick. Part of the Greater Moncton area, Dieppe was named after the most catastrophic battle in Canadian military history. So let's take a look inside. This is the living room featuring parquet floors, an acoustic ceiling, and what looks to be an electric wall-mounted heater. This is the kitchen, which looks like it was photographed with a wide-angle lens, but actually, it's just like that. The bathroom is modeled after a Best Western Hotel bathroom, and you have a bedroom with overhead lighting that'll make you feel like you're in your very own basketball court. The home is conveniently located next to a Swiss chalet, a liquor store, and the Walmart, also known as the Blackout Drunk on a Monday Night Triangle. And this stunning home in a bustling metropolis of 28,000 people can be yours for only... $375,000. That's not too bad. And since this home is in New Brunswick, I can tell you that it last sold in 2010 for just under 140 k That's only a 169% increase. That's fair. And maybe you're wondering, where's he going to find a castle in Europe for that cheap? Well, you forgot about Eastern Europe. That's right, we're going to Poland. Nostrovia, bitches. This castle can be yours for only 1.15 million zloty, or about 365 k Canadian. This Polish palace, currently used as a hotel and restaurant facility, is located on 11 acres of land, enough to grow your own kapusta for homemade guamki. There are over 20 bedrooms, a bar, chapel, dining rooms, and kitchen with storage facilities. The building is surrounded by a landscape park with a pond, fountains, and a playground. So what's your pick? The three-bed, one-bath in Dieppe? Or the picturesque Polish palace perched on a park with ponds and a playground?